Number 69. Determine whether aqueous solutions of the following salts are acidic, basic, or neutral. And then we have rubidium iodide, which is RBI. Now, in order to determine whether a salt is acidic, basic, or neutral, the first thing is, is you're going to break this ionic structure, because that's what salts are. Salts are just ionic compounds. You're going to break them into the two ions. Now, in this case, there was only two elements, so the split has to be between rubidium and iodine. Rubidium is a group 1 metal, and iodine is a group 17. It's a halide. Okay, now... There's like a little trick here that we're going to perform to see whether we're acidic, basic, or neutral. Remember, if you're in aqueous solution, that means that you, you're in water, right? H2O. And H2O has basically a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion, making H2O. So what you're going to do is you're going to add these ions into here. The plus always goes with the hydroxide. So in this case... I will make RbOH. And then for the iodine, positive attracts the negative, so this would be Hi. Now from here, we're going to see if we have any strong bases or very, very close to strong bases or strong acids. Let's talk about Hi first, Hi. So I go on my, my list of strong acids, and I say, okay, is HI, one of my strong acids. And yes, it is. It's right here. So I'm just going to write that down. HI is a strong acid. So now we know that if we have a strong acid, the conjugate that's always made is so, so, so weak that it's basically classified as neutral. It has nothing to do about acidity nor basicity. So since this comes from a strong acid, the I minus that we have is neutral. And what we can do is we can cancel this out. It has nothing to do with acidic or basic properties. Now here comes a little trick, right? This is the tricky part. We have RBOH. So you might say, okay, I'm going to search my strong bases, right? And I don't see RBOH on here, but star this one up. RB, even though it's not really classified as a strong base, rubidium is in group 1. And the rule goes is that all group 1 ions, if they form hydroxides, they will be on the stronger end of things. So maybe we won't classify RBOH as one of our six strong, but it's really, really, really close to being a strong base. So in this case, we're going to say this is kind of like a strong base. You will only perform this if your first element is in group 1. But for group two or all the other metals that are in other groups, we will not do this. We will classify those as weak unless it's the three other strong bases. Okay, so since it's a strong base, the conjugate is so, so, so weak that it's classified as neutral. So strong base, or roughly very close to a strong base, the plus one that we have is also neutral. So that kind of gets canceled out. And now you just add up what you got. We have neutral plus neutral is neutral. So this salt would be a neutral salt, pH of 7. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I will be talking to you in other lessons. Okay, bye-bye.